everyone and welcome back so today we are going to continue on here in final fantasy 16 the last of the side quests as they're only in Tabor at the moment Let's go ahead and get the two. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Oh, no. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast... Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Okay. That person is... Done. Down this way. Cyril, how far is the search? Well. Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is... ...and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. <laughs> For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. Give me one second, guys. I need to check something. Cyril seem very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. 
Okay. Where? Oh, up there. How do I get up there? Oh, well, looky there. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystal. Hey, you there. This strapping lad. Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. Okay. We're working with another scholar, again! Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing, and give praise her gracious hand. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. This one says, Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride, recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Have you noticed the elders? Mm, not a scratch on them. You wouldn't happen to have a decent whetstone in there, would you, madam? I'm sure I can find you something. All of these stones have a good bit of diamond dust in them. That'll see your sword sharp, all right. So it's these stones to Canva, and the rest of the boxes to Dalamil. This one says, 
Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Go back up. Thank you for the deal, egg, mister. Mummy needs a pottage from it. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Um. Yeah. I didn't technically check. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Okay, so it's giving me options of what he could have been what he remembered. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. It's this one. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here... And thank you. Okay. So we learned a bit about Tabor. Ah, 
How are those new boots treating you? go this way in order to get to the other quest. Yes. Yep. I'm getting close to where I need to be. The quest. Okay, there it is. Flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach. Tabor. <laughs> Forgive me. Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there.
Someone there! Please, I... I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Okay. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes, you are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, <laughs> some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Yeah, we're not going to go to Dalamil. We go to where we need to because uh I'm not going to deal with that death kitty. Not today, no sir. <laughs> Cities and a sea. Okay, I'm going the right way. <clears throat> Are you sure this is the right way, brother? 
it's the right way for the quest that we're going on. <laughs> I don't question it. Storm Panther? Okay. It looks like a mix between a tiger and a panther.
least it's not the dragon that I thought it was going to be. the better. Alright. Let's go back here. Here's your hide. As requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. we could do anything about where we're supposed to be going. Let's head to the hideaway. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here.
Um, upon KO, automatically restores all HP. Fills limit gauge and increases attack power by 10% and defense by 30% for 60 seconds. Also, it's 20,000 gil. Okay. I'll sell this one. You got how else? That one. I'm thankful you got that much. That... You got how else? I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm be thankful you got that much. Probably shouldn't have sold the ancient sword. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? Finished, are you? I'm gonna just check up here real quick. Let's head back to Tabor. Is there anything that's in the living areas? Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Continue on. Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? Free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Into Canver. Old Canver. The capital of the free cities of Canver, located at the tail end of the Titan's Wake and Southeast Storm. It is a hive of mercantile activity where one can hardly move for the trade transacted on nigh every on nigh every cobbled corner. The warehouse district. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Oh my god! <laughs> hey! <laughs> my boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you! 
I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> ah, family reunion. I can. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Okay, who are we playing as? <laughs> okay, we're still Clive. Alright, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. Shit. We don't get... They don't stand a chance against those things.
Ruslan.
gill out of it. Be survivors inside.
What does he want? again you've caused quite the commotion but then i would expect no less from you muthos you again i don't believe we've been introduced you were in my family's crypt and now you're here with an army of akashic thralls manners lord rossfield they are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the man of House Harbor. And you will yield. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Gah! Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos.
one try only. <laughs> that was it. Oh, but I was running low on everything. The vessel is strong. My leash. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but... We couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. So soon, Mythos. Fuck. It's the king. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends. Okay, before everything goes too far, Sipner Halibard, uh, Harvard, not Halibard, sorry. Um, Lord Commander of the Kingdom of Walud's armies, Sipner was known to many as the Constant Knight by reason of his unchangingly icy demeanor and his unwavering loyalty to his liege. Bested by Clive Rossfield after he and his master slaughtered guildmasters, and Republican ministers in the Canvarian Agora. Ultima, the otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil that has plagued Valestia. Ultima requires a vessel in which to inc inc hold on inculcate his disembodied soul. And Clive's curious ability to absorb the powers of other icons suggests that he is the very mythos that Ultima has long awaited. 
He wills Clive to absorb the other icons, that his vessel might be perfected. And Mythos, the name by which Ultima addresses Clive. It appears to be his title for the Vessel for Limitless Power, that he means to make of the young Lord Marquis. The being identifies Clive as the Mythos, he has long sought by virtue of his awakening. As the dominant of Ifrit, and having the power to absorb the aether of other icons. My people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Circle's got his sword. <laughs> A federation of neighboring independent city-states located in the southeastern part of the continent of Storm. While originally part of Dalmechia, the cities achieved their independence in the year 857. Denver lacks an army of its own and relies instead on a city guard formed of mercenaries hired by its merchants and tradespeople. Unfortunately, the city guard, and indeed the city itself, was decimated in an attack by Akashic looter troops in 878. Having lost its political leaders and the bulk of its citizenry, the free cities ceased at that point to be a nation in any meaningful sense. Damn. Will you be all right? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. <laughs> All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. 
But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew. <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Yeah! Hi. You're awake, my boy. Oh. What I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. Alright. So the ironworks. A fully functioning shipyard nestled within the hollow of a sea grotto on the outskirts of Canberra. The high cliffs and violent tides which surround it, effectively concealing the interior from prying eyes. It is here that Mid, along with other allies from the hideaway, strives in secret to finish work on the enterprise of a revolutionary high-speed sea vessel. What of the royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. They probably took her with them. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. Or do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Oh boy. There's quests here. Martha's Rest. Now here in Lost Wing. As well as Bachlad. Anywhere else? Oh. Let's head to the hideaway. said that Otto might know something. Alright. I am going to go ahead and end it here for today, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all on Sunday with more Genshin Impact. Bye, y'all.